Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. My name is Mo, welcome. Today I will be doing another episode in my Cliff Off Journeys series. Um, so I will link, um, I will put a link in the description box down below for the Cliff Off journeys um, series if you want to go back and see some of the older videos. Um, I started my journey I think it was this time last year. I think it's been a, a year that I've been on this journey so far. I want to say I started in September 2023. September or October. Maybe even in August, I'm not sure, but I did start around that time last year. Um, and now we're September, 2024. So um, if I remember correctly, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, there are 10 Clifothic spheres and there is the abyss um, just before the top three um, Clifothic spheres. So, if you haven't watched the previous videos, you're kind of going to be lost. Um, so I do suggest going back to watch it from the very beginning because this is, I think, the 12th episode or the 13th episode in the series. So that means I have about 12 or 13 videos previous to this one. So um, right now I'm in the sphere, of, uh, the Clifothic sphere of Golikab which is this one here that's darkened out. And I started over here and I weighed my way up. And then I have to make my way to continue through to the top. So right now I'm in Golikab. And I'm uh, reading this book, Tree of Cliffoth by the Temple of Ascending Flame. And um, that's how I'm working my way through this tree tree of the night side um so i'm in golakab now and i'm in the fourth hell there are nine hells in the realm of golakab ruled by king asmodeus so right now i'm in the fourth hell the desert and i've been here for about three weeks now I decided I would spend about a month in each one of the hells. Um, so I started with the first hell, then I went my way to the second hell, then I went my way to the third hell, then I made my way to the fourth hell. I'm currently in the fourth hell, and um, within the next week or two, I hope to move into the fifth hell, um, ruled by King Asmodeus. And each Clifothic sphere is ruled by different entities. So um, this Clifoth is ruled by King Asmodeus. He's also known as Samael the Black. Um, in this book, that's what it says. So in this hell, the desert, I won't read you, uh, you know, I won't read you what it says in the book. But basically, it's about um, being hungry, um, feeling hungry for something in life, but not being able to slow down enough to satisfy the hunger, not being able to slow down enough to fulfill that hunger. Um, and the knowledge that if you do slow down to an adequate speed, you risk being devoured yourself. And so I think that's what this clip off is really about, um, among other things. But one of the things is that it's about, you know, wanting to slow down to achieve, but knowing that if you slow down too much, 
you will sacrifice yourself to those who are also feeling the desire to fulfill a need. And I didn't, I mean, weird dreams. Like there's, ever since I started dreaming within this tree of Cliffoth, the Cliffoth tree, um, my dreams have brought about different types of subject. Um, in one of the dreams that I had while I was in this fourth hell, I had a dream that there was a small house that was set on fire and when I looked for the fire extinguisher in one spot, it wasn't there. But then I turned around and I looked at another spot where I thought the fire extinguisher could be and it was there. And so I started to sp spray the fire extinguisher all over the small house and adequately put out the fire. And it's weird because I've never had a dream about fire before. Um, ever that I can recall in my life. And I don't know what that means. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it means something, but um, there were people in the house, the small house, and they were saved because I put out the fire. Kind of like a fire a fireman or firewoman would do. Um, and so I've noticed that my attitude towards people has been a lot more generous lately. I feel like I've been a lot more generous um, with myself during this um, hell, it's the fourth hell of the desert. Um, but I think that's just the energy of this hell. It's just, you can't slow down enough. You're just always on the go. You can't, it's like a bird flying through the sky and the book kind of compares it to that. A bird, a vulture flying through the sky, wanting to land and devour something, but knowing that if it lands in the desert, it risks being devoured itself. And so you're always on this like up in this hell. You're always on vibrating at this one vibration or higher and never grounded. Um, and it's true. I haven't felt very grounded in this hell at all. Like. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I wanted to work harder um, at the gym and I wanted to push harder to write my book and create my tarot deck and I wanted to do more, but I also knew and know that the earth here is slowing down but I'm still in this up energy. I still feel like it's the height of summer. But I feel like I shouldn't be there. I feel like I should be slowing down um, energetically. And I feel like if I could slow down energetically I would be able to accomplish more in the physical realm. And yet, time seems to just slip out of my hands. And at the same time, I feel like I'm accomplishing so much. I just feel like I'm not accomplishing the things that I had set out to accomplish in the last hell, um, the third hell. And so now I'm in the fourth hell, the desert. And I guess the lesson is, um, so it says, the lesson of this realm is about being a prey and predator. Hunting and being hunted. 
fighting and surrendering. It is a test of fear and courage, learning to know when to wait and when to make a move. You see, that's kind of what I'm learning right now is when to wait and when to make a move because I can't come down to the desert and devour or I will be devoured. And so I'm learning here to be patient and to wait in order to make my next move. And I know that when the time is right for me to make that next move, that is when I will enter into the following hell, the fifth hell. The fifth hell is called the maze. So in this hell, the fourth hell, fighting and surrendering. Fighting and surrendering, yeah, I've learned that because I've learned to surrender my will here, um, my will to create life the way I want to create it. Um, fighting to, to want to get that done and then surrendering to the fact that it's just not time for that right now. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You know, it's not like I haven't gone to the gym since I made my last video. Um, it's not like I haven't worked on my book. I don't even think I've worked on my tarot deck, but um, even my YouTube channel has slowed down and yet I, I still feel like I'm up here, you know, like I feel like I have the energy to create. I feel like it's there, but it just must be in some sort of void right now, in some sort of I don't know. The energy's there. It's just not ready to come out yet. It's like kind of like when, when a woman is pregnant and, you know, the baby has to stay in the mother's womb for nine months until it is full grown in the womb in order to actually be born and it kind of feels like I'm back in that energy of the womb right now um, and there's so much potential here in this womb like space but maybe this hell the desert is just teaching me to slow down you know it's just teaching me that slowing down is important <laughs> And even if I feel like I can get A, B, and C done in this amount of time, maybe I really ne need to get D, E, and F done instead. And it's going to be in this amount of time. And maybe the time that it takes me to do D, E, and F on the list is the time that it would have taken me to do A, B, and C on the list. Only I had to do D, E, and F with that time instead. So I guess that's what I've learned here. Um, as I said, I'll probably be here for another couple of weeks, maybe a week or so, but I've been here for two or three weeks and I feel like I've been thinking about what I'm learning um, pretty consistently and trying to kind of take a mental note of what the lessons are. Um, teach this, this hell teaches you how to be a prey and a predator, how to hunt and be the hunted. 
And I think that's just a way of saying sometimes you're the one that puts 90% of the work into the dynamic. And sometimes you're the one that puts 10% into the dy dynamic, meaning you're not always going to be the one to be giving. Sometimes you're going to, you're going to be the one to be taking, and that's only necessary for the balance. So that's it. I hope this was a helpful video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out um, my playlist in the description box. I'll leave the link to the playlist for the Quiff Off Journeys videos. And um, you can also check out my other videos. I have quite a few videos. A lot of them are older, but I still upload weekly readings. Um, so maybe you want to check those out too. Oh, I also have an Instagram account. Um, my main Instagram is at mo underscore moon. Um, and so if you'd like to find out more about my everyday life, you can always click the link to that Instagram account there. And I have other Instagram accounts too, but I'm not as active on them, but you can always check those out too. They're linked in my main account and there's in the info box. All right, cheers.